Second match from the N1 on August 17th, 2024, that would be night six, was a six-man tag team matchup. That's all Traske, Tavian Heights, and Yohei take on Kai Fujimura, Yohei Oya, and Yu Iwata. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. As soon as I saw Oya teaming with Fujimura and Iwata, I knew who was winning this. And that's no insult to those two young guys. They're still making their way through. No, still wearing the black boots, the black tights, not having anything special about them. They're very good wrestlers, very solid. If I was running a company, I would gladly take either one of them. But... You know, both of them are pretty much pin eaters still at this point. They do a good job. They get in there and look good, but they don't win. And I knew uh, Iowa, Oia, God, I got to get used to this guy's name. It's so hard to get used to. I mean, his first name begins with an R, but then the rest of it is Yohei. So it, is it Ryohei? I, I don't know. And O-I-W-A is one of the most unique spellings of anything I've ever seen in my, in my life. Oia. Uh, but when I saw Oya teaming with Awada and Fujimara, I knew Yohei, Tavian, and Tadasuke were winning this, and that's what happened. I watched it just to see Tavian Heights, and he was a little sloppy in this match. I, I, I don't say that to insult him. I'm clearly a fan. I'm loving him in the N1. But here, may not have been his fault, but here just was a little bit, I don't know, just a little bit sloppy. Not horrible, not botched, not, oh my god, don't watch this crap. Just a little bit sloppy. Uh, he dominated, though, took care of this match. Yohei and Tadasuke did their thing, too. But I was really watching this for Tavian Heights because I'm really enjoying him and Noah. And here, this is probably my least favorite of his matches, but I still enjoyed it overall. They pick up the win in a match that was nothing special. Love Noah, but it was nothing special, just being honest.